Hey guys, my name is Simpsy. How are you all doing? Welcome back to some more Thrones of Britannia, a Total War Saga. This is episode 8. In today's episode, we're going to be defending against the Norman invasion. We're going to be defending against their scripted invasion. There are five stacks that have landed in the British Isles in the south here. There's about 10,000 men I would gather. We're going to be dealing with that in today's episode. But also, another Viking invasion force has come closer towards Northumbria. Another, another I would say, there's probably about 2,000 men each in these. So I would say there's probably 10,000 in this as well. So, get this right guys. 20,000 Vikings have invaded the British Isles due to the uh, the script, of course. And we're going to be fighting and facing them off here today. So guys, if you still are enjoying this Wessex campaign as Alfred the Great, we are now technically the Kingdom of England. We are now England after we've taken, well, England. We've taken all the territories. Yeah, so if you're still enjoying the series, leave a like, subscribe if you're new around here. Make sure you click the bell to get all the notifications for the channel. Uh, let me know in the comments your thoughts and opinions about this series thus far. Let me know who else you would like me to play as. Feel free to leave a dislike if you're not enjoying the series. I just want to say a huge thank you to the Creative Assembly for sending me early access and allowing me to make videos on Thrones of Britannia a week early. And a huge thanks to their community outreach manager as well. Thrones of Britannia will be out on the 3rd of May, the 4th of May, if you are an Australian. So, let's get stuck into Episode 8. I'll quickly show you where my armies are and, and how we're going to deal with this Viking threat. So, this has Robert here. Another Robert. Walter. The King has actually disembarked Roger here in Solsig. So they've actually taken a footholding here, which is unfortunate. I've set a co-war target. I'll quickly recap as well what I currently occupy after I go through my armies. Okay, so where are my armies? In the last episode, we managed to reforge the Kingdom of England, and we're actually having an invasion in Northumbria. We currently have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven full stacks, I would say. Alfred the Great in the north, he's heading down south, but as we don't have forced march in Thrones of Britannia, as you can see, it's going to take him one, two, three, four, five, six ter six turns, probably seven to even get to Tamworth, which is in the heart of the Midlands. It's going to take us a hell of a long time before we push down against these Norman scum. I have my son, Prince Edward, up in the north. The thing is, right, he's so far north that we might as well continue our offensive against the Northumbrians. 13 no units means. here, they have a new we king. Let's try options. and push to where Hadrian's Wall would be. Oh, there's Hadrian's Wall there. Oh, is it? Yeah, it is too, it must be. I didn't know that. That was just like a rough guess, I thought. Oh, that, that, that looks historically where Hadrian's Wall is, or Hadrian's Wall, however you'd like to say it. Oh, so they've actually got it in the game. That's very, very cool. I didn't even know that. So we might even sort of take as much as that. So Edward's here as well. Ethelwald is heading down south, 61 years of age. Ethelwald is my brother-in-law. We've got Wigmund, my son-in-law here, just actually really quite close to the Viking host. Ethelwald, a randomly generated general, he's whipping his horse. He's two turns away from Winchester, which is so close. We've got Tondbert back in the north as well. He's currently besieging this Northumbrian territory. And we've got Oswy, my son, pushing across. So we've got one, two, three, four territories in the south. Uh, sorry, four full stacks in the south. And we're trying to get to Winchester to contend with this as quickly as possible. And then we have, I would say, probably three full stacks in the north. Yeah, two pushing against Northumbria. Alpha is going to push down. We're not technically at war with these Vikings here at the moment. Diplomacy-wise... Um, here are my vassals, and here are my enemies. Still at war with Northumbria, the Normans, and uh, Gwisling. We're better off going to the Toggle Strategical Overview and going through Diplomacy. So, in yellow is the territories I own, and obviously the blue are my puppets. So, we've got some Separatists down here in Cornwall, Cornwallis. Whistling, uh, Gwisling, we're still at war with the Welsh Kingdom. A couple of Separatists there. And... Yeah, apart from that, we can push against Northumbria quite easily. We, we smashed them in the last episode. Okay, um, 
looking up in Scotland, the Gaelic and Welsh tribes are being crushed. Currently, Scotland is ruled by the Orcs, and uh, <laughs> I like to say that. So the entirety of them there under Viking control. It still looks like the Kingdom of Mead and uh, the Kingdom of Difflin here in Dovlin in uh, modern day Ireland in Dublin are still fighting it out. So the, the, the Gaelic tribes, the Gaelic tribes and uh, of course the Vikings are still going at it there. So that's basically what's going on in this campaign objectives wise. We've hit our short conquest, our long conquest, our short kingdom victory and our long kingdom victory. To win this campaign and wrap things up we need to complete any of the long victory types which we have and then eliminate the Viking invasion fleets. So I reckon that's this and then potentially this. Whether or not we expand into Scotland and Ireland, I don't know if we're going to end this series in today's episode. We could very well, um, but I just simply don't know. Um, what I could do is maybe just, okay, if we hit this uh, ultimate victory, maybe I can stop and go to another campaign. I'll keep the save, of course, and maybe come back if you'd like to see sort of like a, a full map completion. But we're currently, um, how many turns exactly are we into this? We just had a quick look then. I, I, it took me a while just to find where it was. Uh, yeah, we're, we're 98 turns into this campaign. So we're starting to get to this end tier sort of stuff. We're 902 turns into this campaign, but maybe you'd like to see a United Kingdom, uh, like sort of go, like take the entirety of the uh, British Isles. Right. Not really much else we can do here now. Let's end the turn and continue. Um, I might quickly just have a look at my family tree if you're sort of just curious. Um, so we've got this Civil War stuff here, with Ethelhelm and Ethelwald. My, so there's, um, Ethelwald there, married to my, my, uh, my sister. Ethelfled, my daughter, is married to Tondbert. He has a daughter he is with. Edwald there, a bastard son. Edward, obviously my heir, has two children, Ethelhelm and Berthwald. Uh, my daughter, Ethel Giff, is married to Wigmund. Bjornwolf, one of the favourite names there. Ethel Heth and Ethel Wolf. And Oswe is currently married and Ethelhelm is 16 as well. We might even give him a command. But let's end the turn and uh, see how the Vikings, the Normans, um, go from here. If we lose Wessex, if we lose Winchester, man, we are screwed. We are not in a very good position at all. The Normans are ravaging the south coast here, and they are one city away from taking it. England is now bankrupt, as we've just lost three of our minor territories in the south. Raiding in the north. War with Danes and Northumbria. Okay, that's interesting. Well, what we're going to do here with, with Alfred, we're going to take this town and hold up in it quite easily. Then we'll push against that other Northumbrian army. Okay, what does the Order Resolve say for you? Balance of power. Hmm. I want to fight the Normans. I don't really want to do a, a Northumbrian siege. You know what I mean? Okay, everyone else is slowly but surely making their way down. I don't think we're going to be able to get to Winchester. To be fair, Winchester does have a relatively large garrison here with Leoford Stan, 57 years of age. He's been the governor of Wessex for, for quite a long time. Uh, what could I do with this army here? Look, I still think this army can do some damage if they manage to hold a bridge. So let's push Wigmund up here, my, my son-in-law, to this um, position. And then we'll send Oswe, my son, to go to the second bridge and help him out. We've got another yes. Ethelwald here, randomly generated general. Uh, he's currently in... Oh, he's currently nine star... Com oh, no, sorry. Ethelwald is... Yes, yeah, sorry, sorry. This is Ethelwald. Ethelwald is four star. Um, uh, if I can... Ethelherd. I was wanted to give it to my, um, my other son. Because Alfred currently has one... Two, three, Ethel Hun. I wanted to give Ethel Hun the command. Yeah, Ethel Hun. Let's give it to Ethel Hun then. Where's Ethel Hun? Yeah, Ethel Hun here. Yeah. Oh, perfect. So, <laughs> everyone who has a command is either my son or my brother in law, I think, which is quite a cool stat. Okay, we need to get these foragers 
up a bit where we can. Okay, guys, I just sort of had a look at this siege, right? We're currently bankrupt. Um, we need money, and this is a great way to get that. We've lost a lot of our territory in the south here, which has incredibly hampered us. We're losing 307 per turn. We can't get rid of our mili- we can't, like, get rid of our military, but we could sack this Northumbrian city. Edward here can't get here, and if he does, it's one, two, three turns anyway. Look, we've got five battering rams, two two siege towers. I don't really want to play this one because I want to fight against the Normans, you know? Look, you know what? You've got to risk it for the biscuit. 2,259 brave men of Wessex to save the kingdom from bankruptcy. My son-in-law, Todd Burt, who's married to my daughter, is going to order resolve. Todd Burt takes the parry, hits one, and hits again straight through the guts. He goes on his tippy toes there. We have taken the Northumbrian city. We've lost 776, and they deployed 2,080. Come on. We can sack and get 5,600, or we can occupy. We're going to sack. We need the money. We could even have liberated the, uh, the city of... Uh, yeah, this city. We could have even uh, liberated Northumbria. Uh, what's, he, what's his name? Guthrith's former city. We're going to be able to repair it somewhat. No, actually... Oh, wow, okay. So, we're still losing 889 per turn. It's actually rocketed up taking this city. So, we might have even been better off just to leave it, you know? Okay, let's sort of see what the Vikings do, the Normans do, I guess. The only problem is with this army is that they're a bit weak. We can upgrade them. No, we're not going to. Let's send the turn. Yeah, I'm um, putting um, Ethel Hun in that army has reduced. Hmm. Declare friendship. No, I don't want a friendship with the orcs of the north. The Viking orcs. Yeah, has reduced his um, bodyguard to 30. Wow, they're pushing up there. Okay. So, my son-in-law, Wigmund, has been attacked here now against Robert of the Normans and Eustace of the Normans. Crikey. So, we are actually not favoured to win that, but I'm going to fight this one because it's a bridge battle and I think we can do some damage. We're coming up against three mailed Normans. We're coming up against three Norman foot soldiers, so this is their best tier. We're coming up against four of their marine units. One unit of archers and one unit of Flemish crossbowmen. So the Normans have invaded with crossbows, which we don't have, which is insane. They've got their famous Norman knights. And this army here has a lot of archers there. Those crossbowmen are going to be the death of me. But I've got a lot of fear on my own archers, so maybe we might be able to arc our shot somewhat. I reckon I can do some damage in this fight. So the Kingdom of England, Alfred the Great Wessex, Stand between the Normans here in this bridge. Here we go, guys. The Battle of Sta Stingum 902. Wigmund, only two star commands, so the command's sort of even. We've got plenty of swords, we've got plenty of spears. We got some uh, skirmishes as well. Let's start the battle here today against the Normans. It is pissing down with rain in England. It's quite fitting, if I do say so. So let's sort of see where the river crossings are. In Thrones of Britannia, I've realized that there are sometimes multiple. So by the look of it, it seems to be only one. From what I can see. Yeah, where I'm going to have to double check. Where are the crossings? Okay, I've just enhanced the radar. It looks like there's only one crossing. It's this bridge one here. It, or is that one there? I can't even tell. That kind of looks like a crossing. It could be. Especially with... No, it's, it's too rugged. Or maybe even this could be a crossing because it's kind of sloped. I think that's the only crossing, though. I think we're, we'll be alright. I might resize that to about... That, wasn't it? Right, let's reform our army then. Look, what it might have to do, it might actually have to take us to start, and then we'll check the river. But we should be able to quite comfortably push towards this bridge anyway. Yeah, because it might show, like, a different icon that I'm not seeing. Okay, I'm really just being incredibly paranoid. There was definitely one on my other map. So what we're going to do here is we're going to take 
at least half of the bridge for ourselves here. So let's form up as best we can. Once we get there, we're going to need to form shield wall. We'll put our... We'll put our swordsman at the front. And then sort of our spearman in the middle. Because you never know a cavalry charge could come in. We'll move our skirmishers up here as well. Because we've actually got some... Javelinmen. Now, I want to push my cavalry over the river. I think that's probably our best bet. Archers wise... Um... I'm trying to think where we're sort of best, just to sort of spread you out as best you guys can. Okay, that's a lot better. And then we'll go Shield Castle. But come on, men. This is for England. Not just for Wessex, but all Anglo-Saxons and Christians living in this land. The enemy has for Alfred the Great. So their reinforcements are coming from that side. Um... I didn't realize that they would be there. Um, they have cavalry here. Look, I don't think, unless they pull out at the last, that we're going to get our cavalry over the river. If we could, that would be phenomenal. But I just don't think it's going to happen. No, it doesn't look like it. Okay, so let's sort of pause before we... Um, get stuck in because I want to look at these Norman units. You guys haven't even seen these. So here are the Norman male units. First time fighting against these guys. These look fantastic. Look at that dragon kite shield. Pushing further down here against the Normans. I just want to pause because I'm going to have to form shield wall with my men in a sec. So here are some of their Norman foot knights. It's a little bit hard to see when it's absolutely hammering down with rain in England. We've, we've reforged the Kingdom of England here now, or, or rather forged. Let's give these Normans a challenge. We've, we've, we've absolutely bled and done a massive amount of graft for this campaign. We deserve to hold England against these Norman invaders. Crossbowmen here as well. So here's the first army. How's the balance of power stand? So they're still not really in our favour. Okay, so let's quickly unpause, but I basically want everyone, once you get into position to form shield wall, they're not going to get over the top. They're not going to get over there, which sucks. So, we could always disembark with my... My, um... Horseman, rather dismount. Look, I reckon everyone can just form their shield walls there, yeah. And so can, um, Wigmund. Okay, archers, what I want you to do is to pick apart their archers. So where are they going? Just out of curiosity, where are they heading? Because I just went through there with all my units. There's no crossing here. So what are they doing? They're forming up so that their men can form. Look, they have just left a cavalry charge here. What I'm going to do is I'm, actually, I'm just going to slowly move my men up and just be like, oh yeah, we're not we're not charging, we're not charging, we're just sort of uh, holding up. Let's get rid of their cavalry. Hit that then if they're just going to sit there like that. There's no point of hitting those shield blokes. Yeah, let's just move my cavalry. We're just going to hold up. We're not going to do a uh, for for ride and ruin for Rohan charge. Let's do it. Let's charge over. Peel left. Go guys. Go 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 go. Charge speed. Charge over the bridge. Quickly now. And then peel that way. They are not going to let me charge over this bridge. They're indecisive. Clearly. They have let four full stacks flank. That's absurd. Sorry, four full units flank. Okay, uh, what I'm going to do is hide in the forest. Just don't remember these guys. We're not hiding in the forest. 
Why is my shield wall so bad here? It shouldn't be. So let's get in and behind there. Um, so these guys are Norman Huskars. They have no shields. So what are they doing going back and forth? So they've actually charged me here. We're going to be able to get some sort of skirmishes over the, the sides. Yeah, so are they, So these guys are technically hidden? That's absurd. They're not going to send their general out, are they? That would just be the topping of the, the cake, I guess. Right, let's continue to hit these guys here and continue to hit them. Their cavalry's coming out now. Maybe hit them as they're fleeing. I'm going to skirm a, a volley off. Yeah, these guys should be on the bridge. I could have sworn I gave the order for them to do that. Look, if they're gonna... Okay, they're dead. They're so dead. Charge that. They're probably not probably not gonna get a better chance anytime Our soon. Our hidden units have been discovered. You saw them cross the bridge. Just stupidity. But here we go. Let's hit these Norman Huskulls from behind. 120. We won't be able to stay too long in combat. Peel. Let's go for a side strike at least. They've formed a triangle formation, which is interesting. And now we withdraw. Hit their own cavalry that are fleeing there. So how much did we do? 20. So absolutely nothing. Fall back. Hit these units here that have turned. We might get one volley off if we're lucky. Uh, we might be able to hit some of these further guys in the rears. Hit, uh, what's coming up here? Our general is under attack. Hit the crossbowman there. Hit them though. Okay. So just hold. How are we going? We've killed 400 of theirs. Archers, hit these crossbowmen that are just sitting here. Take the shot once you've got it. Everyone else is still in shield wall or shield castle. Um, they're in range as well. Yeah, continue to throw, just throw spears at them. Like, you probably can actually do alright. Nah, they're, they're too, they're too, um, wound up there. We could get away with a charge, like behind here or something. Further towards this end is Spearman, so you don't want to do that. But hitting something like that from behind is probably not a bad idea. Especially if they're just going to stand there like fools. Okay, they're pushing along here. We need to get these crossbowmen. So I reckon these crossbowmen have like armor piercing stuff. So I'd be terrified if a volley came in. So you guys can hit that then. So they're lining up. They're going to turn. They're going to turn. So my cavalry is just absolutely sort of a bit shit, isn't it? So they're going to form up and charge at once, which is smart. Hit these guys on the side. Or you can. If we can kill their general still, that's probably in our best interest. So don't stand in combat too long. They're charging over the bridge now by the look of it. Make sure you get your skirmishes up. Hit the guys that turn. Be relentless lads. How many have we lost? A hundred. So what does this actually do? Minus melee but charge. No, we definitely need some sort of competence. Keep charging against these Huskulls. We need to get rid of at least one of their generals. So they're charging in now. Let's try and just hit this cluster. 
Where are these guys operating from? Come on, let's kill him. Surround and kill him at least. The enemy general is dead. Awesome stuff. We got him. Now I can pull my cavalry out and give them a bit of a breather. Okay, my archers have run out of ammunition. So what you're going to have to do to help out the cause is just sort of sit there. So these are Norman knights. Let's drag them out. We're not going to beat them. Hmm. 42, 47. No, we have more, but we're not going to defeat Norman knights in combat, I don't think. And especially with a Norman male unit there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to peel my strongest cavalry right. I'm going to peel the weakest cavalry left. And the two else can run away. And I'm hoping they latch onto them. Hold, men. You've got... My brother-in-law, a prince, technically. Okay, so my, my, my knights have been caught here. So we're probably going to have to swing around. They've been caught, so what can I do? If one's been caught now, we might as well send them all in. Okay, you, my archers have been depleted here now. Continue to hit into this cluster. They've still got crossbowmen here, which are firing their shots off. Uh, maybe they're not. Maybe it's the archers. They've got so many men here, but if we can do a mass, we can do a decent amount of damage. We'll be fine. They actually broke. We actually broke them. I need my cavalry, man. I really do. Okay, so how's our morale and stuff? You know what I mean? Like, how well are we actually fighting here? They're winded, but they're gonna do all right. We're on shield wall. They're pulling in their spear. So the Normans and the English, the first encounter has happened, and we've broken that unit of cavalry. Don't worry about those ma uh, these um, mailed spearmen now. So now that's huge, that that's freed up our cavalry, we're going to be able to do hammer and anvil strikes against the Normans clustering at this bridge. Even though we don't have uh, uh, skirmisher, skirmishers anymore. This ca these cavalry charges are going to be massive for us. Now, they've just baited us this way. Tired. Okay, so let's swing here. We might even get rid of those archers, actually. That'd be better for me. Send in the heavies to go just behind. And then we'll send these guys around the back. So how are we going for this? We've lost 300 men. We've killed a thousand of theirs. We've just clocked it. The Normans with their so-called cavalry supremacy are going to get smashed from behind fools let that charge go so this is a bit of an extent of the battlefield if you're sort of gauging it my frames are getting a little bit choppy as I'm looking right into it I am playing on max graphics at the end of the day and I'm recording obviously so I might need to run a benchmark test, maybe that sort of video should be done. Yeah, let me know guys, uh, what type of videos you would like me to to do on Thrones of Britannia, as I still have early access. That's a poor charge. So should we go with um, the triangle formation ones? So what are we actually doing? Eager. Mm -hmm. Okay. Shattered, go for the next one. Okay, so what actually bonuses do we get? Uh, charge bonus. So maybe we are. I never know. I never I never like using uh, Wedge because I tend to get them stuck in combat. So they've covered a spear unit behind. That's not going to work. So fall this way. Oh, you guys might get caught there. You might be alright. Let's continue to run down those archers. Continue to shoot into this cluster as well. Preferably hit the guys that are, that are moving out because if we can hit them in the rear, 
uh, massively reduces them. So they got some infantry there. Look, I reckon charge. They seem to be a little bit sort of dispersed. My cavalry are winded, but they are capable of dealing a charge. Even with their swords high. That was a pathetic charge. And they're going to suffer the consequences because of it. Okay. So maybe just sort of peel them out. Look, these guys are shattered. They ain't coming back. So maybe swing around this way. Let's continue to drop some of these buffs on our men, especially at the front. Shaken, casualties sustained, a couple of them there. Continue to let my archers fire into the clus cluster. It's a shame it's raining. We could be doing a lot better. If we had fire or something. What are these guys? Spearmen there, exhausted. Swing about, swing around back this way. Push this way. We need to get these strikes in behind. Let's maybe start speeding things up a bit. Like, not really too much is happening. Spearmen there. Spearmen. Infantry. Because I think we're going to win this one. We're doing really well. Like, just looking at how many are just counting down. We want to wait for an infantry unit to come through. Yeah, that's what we want. Peel through here. Come here. Because what we want to do is surround these guys. And cripple their morale. So pull left, and then this guy is going to give you an opening. And then if you can sneak around the back. Let's get these guys with a quad envelopment. Do it. Activate the quad envelopment. For Alfred! Who? 137 before the first couple of initial charges. The first one comes in, then the second. Now the third and the fourth. Bring him down, bring him down, bring him down. Peel back. Peel back. Peel back. Seemed to work. Wow, we we killed 50 or so men. 114 there for the next one. Okay, these guys are doing all right. Continue to get my archers to shoot into this mess. Continue to move my archers up to get this morale boost. Did they shatter? They shattered. Let's get a charge in to completely outdo them. My guys are just knackered, I think. They're like incredibly tired. Like having a unit here just you lose so many casualties. It's probably a massive boost, right? So basically. Just hold up, to be honest. Sit where you guys can. Give you guys a bit of a breather. So we've got some units now actually routing within the bridge. God knows why they're still trying to do it. But if this one army with this strategical position can do this amount of damage to a northern a Norman army, we're going to be laughing throughout this. We're nearly on par with them casualty. I'm going to wait and give my... Cavalry, a bit of a breather. See, they flee As they start coming close, right. we'll move. So, a unit of Huskulls has. Um, has just routed. We'll get these guys to just turn and. Quick no, you don't need to run away. You just need to slowly walk, I reckon. Save as much of that strength as possible. Active, fresh, active, winded. Yeah, just continue to sort of stroll, to be honest. If they're not moving, there's no need for you guys to. Okay, it's only a thousand between us now. We've lost 400, and we've killed 2,000 of them. How insane is that, guys? The general rule of thumb I, I live by in Total War is as long as you don't lose any more than half of what the enemy deploy, it's a good fight. 
anymore either side is either incredibly good or in incredibly bad. So let's have a look at these guys. Fresh. Fresh, fresh. Alright, let's do a charge then. Or maybe even just like, walk it. Continue to kite, because like there's, there's no point charging until you guys like get there, is there? So once you guys get a bit closer. Go for it. Or maybe just go for it now. Maybe not with you there. Fall for this way, you guys need to be higher up. You can be closer. And then we'll charge. They're gonna get it. Trust me. Form up. Form up. Form up. Form up. Get into a good consolidated position at least. I don't know if you guys are going to be able to charge overly too much. You guys are though. There we go. We just wanted to, I just wanted to make sure there was enough room. Charge, men! Give them hell! They seem to have fixed the cav animation to previous Total Wars. It seems really satisfying when they come in and clash. Not now, though. In that specifically, like, iso isolated incident. Seem quite slow, because my guys are knackered, but... These last couple of charges have been phenomenal. Who's at the back here? The unit of my archers. Right, so we've just crushed this unit here now. Ain't coming back for you. Let's swing this way and go from behind. Look, um, there's still another 400 of them. I'm trying to think what I'm best to do. Man, this is just insane. Like, if they didn't leave these four cavalry units charge over, there's no way they would be in this position. It's just insane. I might do a mixture of both. Maybe we should do a mixture of wedge and a mixture of of line stuff so like get at least two to go into wedge we'll charge the wedge in and then we'll get the other guys out you know what I mean like sort of go with two for two to get both the bonuses or, or split them because I still don't know what's entirely best I think it's sort of up to personal preference so let's set the first squadron in and let's hit them in the rear I'm hoping this causes a mass a mass rout they're shattered now pull out, and then do the next two against these guys. So fall out, and then come back. So pop in the next two now. As they seem to be spilling. Once we get sort of on par with casualties, then I'm going to sound the charge. Continue to give our guys a bit more of a buff. Okay, still wasn't as good that charge. Now that we're actively sort of fighting there. So some seem to be pulling out. I'm not entirely sure which, so let's continue just to charge where we can. We want to sort of create that. Yeah, he's got my guys are just stumped now. We might really just need to hold back and wait for more units to come. Okay, so oh no, two of my cavalry shattered. That ain't good. We'll be fine, but it's not good. Lucky I didn't sort of charge straight up. Look, I think we're gonna win this, but it's just gonna be a bit of a grind here now, especially. Okay, we've actually dragged a unit out here. Are my guys still, like, relatively fresh? No, they're, they're, some of them are exhausted. Five, 1,572 to there, 1,778. Excellent stuff. Falling back here as a unit comes out. As you can see, they're stumped, most of them. Once we maybe get on par with casualties with them, we'll, we'll, we'll sound a charge. But we're gonna win. Oh, how are they buckling? There we go. 
There shouldn't be. There we go, let's get morale back. Because there's only 20 in that unit. Some of them are just really depleted. Maybe... Oh, that's a spear unit there. Don't, don't even bother doing that. That'd be insane to do so. Maybe charge in the rear. Just sort of speed things up. Uh, there's only seven in your unit, so I don't think I should with you at least. But with the others, there's no harm probably. And just get out of there as quick, fast. Pull this side. I've only got just a stock standard sort of rally. With Wigmund. Might be able to get a charge here as well. Or further back. So I've got a couple of my guys fleeing in the center. That's alright. Because they're just going to come up to another 300. Those guys would never massively strong anyway. So they've got some infantry here coming out. What I ideally need is that other unit back, to be honest. So we're on par with them. We actually outnumbered them technically in the battlefield. So we'll try and do some surrounding tactics, but my cavalry is just depleted. We've used it to the absolute optimal efficiency, I swear. Maybe swing it around there. There's no harm in getting some charges in. Now, at least. Pull back. Maybe even pull around. Ten more seconds. Let's drop another rally. Yeah, we've got this in the bag, guys. Even without my cavalry. I thought, uh, maybe we could send them around. Like, to be fair, a couple of charges here and there. It's probably not a bad idea. Even if we do lose them. Because they're basically useless now anyway. Okay, we're still holding the bridge, the bridge quite comfortably. Even though a couple of units are retreating there. They're going to lose. We're holding it just really well. As you can see there, we're losing like... One to every ten second of theirs. So what is actually left here? Norman foot soldiers... Actually, not too many of ours that are actually proper fighters, like proper swordsmen. Look, I still think we're going to be able to hold on. We're going to continue to drop these morale boosts where we can. Once we get a little bit lower, we might sort of charge. My cavalry's been depleted, my skirmishers. I've got my archers and my skirmishers to draw their, sword, uh, my, their short swords. Is there going to be a mass route here? Where is their other general out of curiosity? Did he flee some time ago? Maybe. There was another general there somewhere. 701. But the Normans have suffered a massive defeat at the hands of England here today. The men of Wessex. I'm not going to charge as I lack the swordsmen to adequately fight hand-to-hand -hand combat. Like, these guys are foot soldiers. These guys are like the cream of the crop. This was a army that was based in East Anglia as an occupation force against resist and, and upheaval and unrest in um, East Anglia when Guthrum ruled supreme. I like to think Alfred has all the crowns of his former kings Kind of like a Xerxes style thing. <laughs> Brings them and shows them all to battle. So here are some of the combat if you're curious into the thick of it. It's basically just a bit of a grind here. Shield wall has been formed on most of them even though it might not look like it. Yeah, we're still getting the bonuses uh, for it. But it's only going to be a matter of time before we win. As you can see here, we're just clearly just holding and holding it more than them. They're starting to waver now but I still don't trust it to be like okay let's charge I'd rather just sort of sit and wait it out instead of just charging straight up okay we might be able to do it now though because I still think these knights are really quite good 
because there still seems to be a couple hundred of them still as they're slowly but surely fleeing but we're gonna need to capture some of them aren't we because I still think these guys here theoretically are probably still holding like they still could do some damage against us because look at this my swordsmen are only just sort of stock standard melee troops most of these guys are just levy spearmen and then guys with art with bloody short swords 23 minutes remaining. You will... Oh, there we go. Mass route. Charge. Let's run them down like the dogs they are. We've won. That's what I was waiting for. Victory! We have victory! Most definitely send the guys with the... Um, the short swords first. Because these are the guys that are going to be the real MVPs to run them down. Start hacking them. Um, like get like some of these skirmishes like really high up here. If they can. Shame we got no cavalry. Oh, we do. They're back. Yes. Hopefully we can run them down. Those These two blokes. Okay, so these two cavalrymen are here now. They keep on, like, going back and forth from retreating. But once they engage a unit, they should be able to start picking these guys off massively. Because they're going to be the able to... They're going to be one of the very few that can catch them. That's hilarious. I think, I think we should end it at that. Heroic victory! I wonder if a little X comes on the map. Yeah, we smashed them. Wegmund, my son-in-law. The Raven has reached Alfred the Great, and he is pleased. We might even give some estates or something, governors, governorship. 2011, deployed, 573 men lost. They killed 526, so we did got 50 kills through friendly fire. Wow, okay. So Robert deployed 4,337. Two-star commander there. Okay, so let's have a look at our units. Look at these guys, swordsmen, 418, 571. 553. These guys are awesome. They've turned into gold chevrons now. XP level 7. 212 with the cavalry. 222 there as well. Wow, these guys actually did better than the mailed knights. Marches did really well. Skirmishes did good. Everyone did their job. They were relentless. So unfortunately, we did use a lose an entire unit of uh, swordsmen, and we actually lost those units of cavalry. Look, it was, it's probably worth it. We destroyed a lot of theirs. Not a, not all of it, though, but a, a decent amount. Let's kill the captives. In hindsight, I probably should have taken on warriors. Um. Hmm. Now, that's an interesting one. Because this is actually stronger than before. Okay guys, what I'm gonna do, it's actually hit nearly an hour. Okay, so I'm probably gonna end the video here. Thank you very much for watching. What I might do is I might play this this battle off camera uh, between the next part and the next because it's gonna be exactly the same. It's the exact same position. I feel like I'm gonna have to play it rather than let it face the auto resolve because if we withdraw and we get run down in the forest, that's not what we want. We wanna stand and fight and kill as many of them as push possible and push the, op uh, the opposition. But the thing is, right, if we win here today as well, we've, we've smashed three stacks, which is insane. But I'm going to end it here. Thanks, guys, for watching. Just want to say a huge thank you to the Creative Assembly for sending me early access for Thrones of Britannia. Thrones of Britannia comes out on the 3rd of May, the 4th of May in Australia. And another thank you to their community outreach manager for sending me the code for early access. Unfortunately, guys, it is time to end the video here. Thank you very much for watching. Like and subscribe if you haven't already. Let me know in the comment section down below your feedback for the series. And if you'd like to see more, that's the best way to ensure more content. Leave a dislike if you're not enjoying the series. Check out my social media links if you want to stay connected with me. Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram, all in the description below. Highly recommend Twitter. Every single time I post a video, a tweet goes out. It's much more reliable than the YouTube sub box these days to get all the notifications notifications for the channel you have to click the bell of course to join the notification squad i do enjoy reading those comments 
Patreon and merchandise link in the description below, along with the Steam group. Come and join the community on Steam. And on that note, unfortunately, I have to end the video here. Thank you very much for watching once again. Make sure to take care of yourselves. Go out and have a fantastic rest of your day. My name has been Simsy. Goodbye. Really close cinematic shots here, pushing through the bridge. Oh, look at... <laughs> That was probably the shot of the video there.